Well, everybody, welcome to another Grandpa Sports video, and we are on the campus of Missouri Valley College here in Marshall, Missouri, again uh, tonight. The game has already started, and Eldon Salmon has got, made three free throws, and as it stands at the moment, Missouri Valley with a 3-0 lead here with right at 19 minutes to play here in the first half. Going to go inside with it and get knocked away. Ottawa University in the back. Get that rebound, come down court. We won't be able to get any names for you until halftime because we were late getting here. Cross court pass back out to the top, three pointer. And that, well, they're going to call that two points, it looks like. Like I say, we have no names for the opposing team at the moment, but we will get that at halftime. Here's another pull up and a shot by Nigel Hopkins. Miss. Nigel gets a hand on that ball as they try to make a cross court pass, and that's going to be a bad pass on the Ottawa player, and it looks like Missouri Valley will bring it down. Jody Kraft with the ball. Nigel. And here's another three try by Nigel as both players go down. And Ottawa comes away with it and is going to be a steal. I'm not sure if Jody Kraft knocked that away or who did, but somebody got their hand on it. Valley swings it around the top. Over in the corner, back out again. Matt McCarthy with the ball there momentarily. They come back out front with it. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Another try by Nigel. Boy, Nigel is busy. Might have a sore arm by the end of the game if he keeps up this uh, shot production that he's come up with here so far. Here's a three. No good. Rebound Ottawa. Big boy in the middle. He's going to get it knocked away. I think Eldon Salmon had a hand in there on that and might have knocked that away, but I think we're going to come away with a foul as it's going to be a foul on Marcus Daniels. Here they get it in, and that's going to be a shot there by number 40, and he will drop that. And that's going to make it 4-3 now as Ottawa takes the lead here with about 17 minutes to play. The ball gets away from Robinson there just momentarily. And then he regains it. And then Matt McCarthy is going to swat it out of bounds, and it'll be Ottawa ball. Going the other direction. Ottawa kicks it over onto the baseline. Rebound by Daniels. Down court they come. Daniels is going to kick it out to Solomon, and it's going to get blocked, but he'll be fouled in the act. So that's going to send Solomon to the line here, shooting two. 16-29, Ottawa leads 4-3. Eldon, the six-foot freshman from St. Louis, Missouri, already got the, all of the other points so far in the game. That'll give him four points with four free throws. Scorekeeper just a little slow on the scorekeeping. <laughs> and Eldon puts the next one up also, and it's going to be 5-4 now. Back to Valley. Jody Kraft's going to step in front of that player there to get that ball, and Valley's going to come away with a good defensive play there by Jody Kraft. He anticipates a pass. Here's a three by Jody, and it will be good. That's going to make it 8-4 now. 
Valley with the lead here at home. <laughs> Jody Kraft deep in the corner over there with that shot, and it does fall. He's had several of those, and somebody forgot their defensive assignment there, and they go into the paint to the big boy, and he's got an easy bucket there for number 40. 8-6, 15-34 to play. I'm going to kick it back out, and I think that's going to be a three for Matt McCarthy. Uh, 12. Once again, I think it got fouled up on the defensive assignment. It's going to be an easy basket for number 14, I think. Salmon with a nice dribble fake and gets open, kicks it out to McCarthy, but McCarthy can't drop it. And down comes Ottawa. And inside again, as we've got a real defensive mismatch there with number 14 over Jody Kraft for that. All of a sudden now it's 11-10, just a one-point lead for the Vikings here with 14-32 to play. Here's Salmon with a three, and it will fall. Make it 14-10, Salmon. Number four. <clears throat> Boy, Ottawa right back down quickly trying to get to Valley before they get it set up. Here's a three try for number 22, Marcus Daniels, and he'll make that 17-10. Just as quick as Ottawa caught up, Valley spreads it back out again. Dribble, fake, pull up. Valley with the rebound. Gonna get it to Salmon. He tries a pretty fancy move as he had some pretty tall boys around him, but he couldn't quite get under the basket, I don't think, to drop that in. I think he was too deep underneath the basket and couldn't get the ball out around the basket. <clears throat> Looks like Valley in the zone. Ottawa swinging it around. Three seconds on the shot clock. They're going to have to put one up. Throws it up, and it's no good. That'll be Valley Ball out of bounds as uh, the buzzer went off. I'm not sure whether he had that. Evidently didn't have it off in time, and there's going to be a timeout here as it looks like I think Valley called the timeout. We'll be back here in just a little bit. Okay, we're back underway here with just right at 13 minutes to go. Valley with a 17-10 lead here against Ottawa University. Kick it out to Jody, but he's got somebody on him right away, so he has to pass it off. Daniels, McCarthy, or I'm sorry. That was Wyatt, Tim Wyatt with the ball. He tried to go underneath the basket cross court, but it didn't work. <clears throat> Ottawa with what looks like a double post offense. And the rebound is going to get over the top of Daniels. Oh man, that shot was in and out. Nice uh, move, and it'll drive down the uh, down the, the paint, but no good. But Marcus McDaniels brings it down court, stops right there at the free throw, puts two up, and now it's 19-10. As the Vikings of Missouri Valley here lead early on in this game with just under 12 minutes to play here in the first half. Come outside with it, number 14 wanted to. But Wyatt stepped up in front of him and that's gonna be a foul on Tim Wyatt as number 14 made the drive, but it uh, looked like Wyatt put a hip into him. And that's only gonna be the first team foul for Missouri Valley. 
thought that Marcus McDaniel had three. I don't know. And an easy layup there. They didn't plug up that middle at all on that one as number 15 comes in with just an easy shot. And have to beef up the defense there on that inbound play. Here's a shot by Wyatt, and that will be good as, <clears throat> boy, Missouri Valley hot here with the threes. That must be at least six threes they've had here in the first quarter. And it's going to be a steal by McDaniels and the putback, I believe, by Omar Al-Rafe. Here's the jumper, no good. Off the front of the rim. Valley's gonna come away with a two on one. Back to Daniels and he will make it. Marcus McDaniels, nice play there as Tim Wyatt in the free throw lane waited for just the right minute and handed it off for a nice easy basket. And here with 10.34 to play, Missouri Valley with a 26-12 lead. We'll be right back after this timeout. Okay, we're going to resume play. Like I say, 10.30 to play. 26-12, Missouri Valley with the lead over Ottawa University. Ottawa, Kansas, if I've got the right school. I'll check on all this information at halftime just to make sure. And a steal by Solomon. And, man, he is down the front or down the side court. Puts up a layup, but no good. And back comes Ottawa. Oh, that's going to be traveling there. His number 25 hesitated just a minute, but he moved both feet before he dribbled. So it's going to be Mr. Valley Ball. Solomon and McDaniels pretty much stay in, but now we've got uh, Robinson in there, as well as Omar al Rafe and Tim Wyatt, who was in before the timeout. Drive and kick back out. Here's Salman with a three. No good. Gets his own rebound. Now he's going to drive the baseline. Tries to kick it into Robinson, but gets knocked away. Rafe with the pickup off the floor. And, but they can't drop it. And down comes Ottawa. And a steal. <laughs> I think that is the second or third steal by Solomon, but he's going to turn it right back over as he tried behind the back pass, or a maneuver, I won't call it a pass, and he loses the ball. Going inside to the big guy, no good, Solomon with the rebound, and this kind of slows it up. Have to say, of the four games that I've watched that the JV has played, this looks like the best game so far that I've seen them come out in the first half. Definitely shooting-wise, as well as what looks like they sort of know what each other's doing. Maybe they're starting to find the roll. Solomon with the drive and a right-handed layup from the left side, and it will go in. Make it 28-12 for Missouri Valley. In comes the big guy. Passes it into another. Once again, too far under the backboard and could not get it out in front where it needed to be. <clears throat> and I think that's going to be a foul on number 25 as he more or less uh, forced Tim Wyatt out of bounds there. Al Rafa comes out and I believe 24, Nigel Hopkins checks back in. They go to the post and kick it right back out for a shot from Wyatt, but it's no good. Kind of a finger roll layup, but it's no good. Robinson saves it from out of bounds and does get it back into Missouri Valley player. And tries to pass it right in between Salmon and Hopkins, but they just kind of couldn't decide who wanted it, and it went out of bounds. 
So, Ottawa with the ball. Going to be a three try. Looks good, too. Nice arch. 28-15 as we've gone scoreless here for about eight minutes, I'd say. Quite a while. 7.25 to play, 28-15. Once again, it looked like Daniels with a nice play to get inside, but then a bad pass that followed. Definitely want to penetrate, but need to dish it off if you can. Here's another three, and it will drop again. Make that 28, 18. And the coach from Missouri Valley wants a timeout now. Kind of wants to sure up the defense there a little bit, I'm sure. We'll be right back after this timeout. Okay, 6.45 to go, 28-18. Valley with a 10-point lead. Here's Jody Kraft with a three, and we'll make it again. That's six points for Jody. Both of them three-pointers. Thirty-one, eighteen. Ottawa kicks it around. They're definitely going to pick, start picking up 14. I'm sure they go inside to the high post, and he will make that number 34. Valley gets it inside to Robinson, kind of a one-handed desperation shot. Don't think he realized he had that. Here's a three try, no good. Nigel Hopkins, six-foot freshman from Raytown, Missouri. Cross court. Going inside to the big boy again. Kick it out for a three try. That looks way short. Robison, more, almost a jump ball there for a minute, but Robison comes away with it. Here's Salmon, and it's going to be two. Make it 33-20, 13-point lead here now with 5-14 to play in the first half. Ottawa still with the, the double post offense against this zone defense, and that's going to get off the hands there of number 15 and go out of bounds. And Ottawa coming in with multiple substitutions. And uh, Matt McCarthy is going to check in, as well as Tim Wyatt. So now it's Kraft, Wyatt, McCarthy, Salmon, and Robison. They go inside to Robison. And I think they're going to call that off of an Ottawa player that got tipped. Jody just let it go out of bounds. Matt McCarthy's going to play it in. They come in to Salmon. Back to Jody. Wyatt, Salmon. I could do that all night. And Tim Wyatt makes a drive into the paint with the left hand, puts it up. That's going to be 35-20 now. So far, Valley putting it to the boys from Ottawa. Inside on the baseline, kind of a weak little shot. is off of Robison. Salmon's going to come away with it. We're going to do the pat on the head play, whatever that is. Salmon does that. Here's Jody with another th two, I think, with a miss. And they're probably going to get Robison for reaching over as he had an arm over the shoulder of the Ottawa player. That's only going to be the third team foul. Both teams with three team fouls here with 3.55 to play in the first half. I don't know if that means they're not playing much defense or what, but uh, only three team fouls on each team. 
Nice soft layup there by number 32, and it will fall. 35-22 now with 3.35 to play in the half. Valley with a single high post offense. They swing it around, and that's going to be a three by Matt McCarthy. That must be at least eight three-pointers for Missouri Valley tonight. Their percentage has got to be really high here for three-point shots. 38-22, and we're coming down to three minutes to play. Nice fake. No good rebound, and Salman is going to go up really high for that rebound as the little guy really gets up in the air. Tries to draw a foul, and I think he will that time on 32 as he dribbled in front of him and kind of uh, hesitated for just a little bit. But that's going to put Eldon at the line. Here shooting two shots, I'm sure. Four team fouls now for Ottawa as we've got 254 to play. Salmon puts it in. That's six, seven, eight, nine free throws. I think he's nine for nine. Hope I don't jinx him there, but I think he's made every one of them he shot. And he makes the next one. So what's that total, 15 points? Eldon with 15 points here in the first half. And there's the three, you make it good. That should be 40, 25. Go inside to Robison, and then he wants to kick it out to Jody, and it's a little high over his head, and he can't hold on to it. So that'll turn it back over to Ottawa. Yeah, they got to come up and challenge him on the threes. Definitely have to do that. And then it leaves the open inside open. And that's going to get, I believe, hit by Matt McCarthy, the 6'1 sophomore from Washington, Missouri. Ottawa plays it in on the baseline. And Robinson just nonchalantly steps in front of that. An outlet pass to Jody Craig. Kraft who throws it up and it's in and out. No good. Not a good shot, but man, it had a chance. Wasn't another player down court. And I think that's probably going to be a foul there for smacking on the arm by Tim Wyatt. And I think that's going to be his second foul, I believe. Yeah, two for Wyatt. Still only four team fouls, so it's just going to be out of bounds here for Ottawa here on the near side. Daniels check back in and they go inside here. And they get two more, 40-27. Now just a 13 point lead for Missouri Valley here with 125 to play in the first half. Salmon with the ball, gonna dribble to the top of the circle, backs out of it. Wyatt going to go to baseline, and he kicks it out. I think he had a shot there, but we'll take that as that's going to be a three for Marcus McDaniels, the six-foot freshman from Orlando, Florida. <clears throat> Cross-court pass gets hit by Daniels, but Ottawa controls it. There's going to be a shot there by number 22, and he'll make it, and that makes it 43-29, and we are down to 30 seconds to go here in the first half. <clears throat> 24 seconds on the, on the shot clock, so there's more time on the shot clock than there is on the play clock. And I presume Valley will probably go for the last shot here. 
kick it out. Solomon back to Daniels. Now Daniels is going to put it up, and he'll drop a two. And that'll make it 45-29. <clears throat> and a steal there by Matt McCarthy and a shot right at the buzzer, but it is no good. And the score right here at Missouri Valley College here in Marshall, Missouri, is going to be the Missouri Valley Vikings 45, Ottawa University 29. We'll be back with action in the second half here in just a minute. Uh, Here's the first half summary on the scoring for everybody out there. Jody Kraft has six points. Eldon Solomon has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like uh, 12, 15 points for Eldon. And drop down to Matt McCarthy. He's got six. Marcus Daniels with three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And we're underway. We'll just do a final end of the game summary on the points, but that's uh, high point men here so far for your Missouri Valley, Missouri Valley Vikings as they have a 45-29 halftime lead over the Ottawa Braves, Ottawa University Braves. Ball gets momentarily tipped. Solomon's going to put a one up as the shot clock had run down, I think. Ottawa right down with it. Man, they're going to use their strength as they go into the paint, as that's number 44. Hun, you want to move over here closer to me where I can see those and their names? I went over and got some names uh, from the scorekeeper's table. Maybe it's 34. Dallas Stackhouse. He made a basket there. I missed that. I wasn't watching. Forty-five, thirty-one, fifteen, or fourteen-point lead, and there's a three, and that'll cut it down. As number fourteen, Anthony Percy made that. Oh, I'm sorry, number twenty-two, Eric Grant. Got it down to 11 points as you knew Ottawa was going to come out here at the half and really try to get back in this game if they could and do it early. And that's going to be a foul on Ottawa, first team foul of the half. So the ball will go out of bounds, and I believe that was on number 32, Brian Newton. Get it to Robinson, but he can't hang on to the handle, and down comes the Braves, and the Ottawa player trips, but they're still just going to call it an out of bounds as Newton had driven the lane there. Get it into the big guy, number 40. He's going to kick it back out as he gets shut down. Here's another three, and it's not going to be any good. And Robison up really high to get that rebound. So in some inside strength there on the rebounding. There's a two, and that will be good for number 22, Marcus Daniels. Tipped by Daniels, but it's recovered by a Ottawa player. And left-handed shot, once again, by number 32, Brian Newton. And that's going to keep it at 11 points here with 17-10 to go. A pull-up shot over the top, no good. Ottawa away with the rebound. And that's going to be a foul, I believe, on Matt McCarthy as he was trying to get the charging foul, but no good. And that'll be the first team foul for Missouri Valley. And Ottawa comes back 
with mass substitution as the coach just clears the bench off. So here was 1654. It's going to be Missouri Valley Vikings 47 and the Ottawa Braves 36. Okay, 1654 to go. Valley with a 47 36 lead over the Braves. And good pressure defense out front. And I believe that's going to be a five second call. He didn't get rid of the ball. Jody kept the pressure on him. So that'll be a turnover. Valley works it around. I didn't know better. I'd almost swear this was a four guard offense. <laughs> and one post player and four guys running the ball around out front there. Now that's going to be a good one for the ref to call there as he calls it off the leg of the Ottawa player as Salmon just kept the pressure on him, kept the pressure on him. Eventually he gives it up and kicks it out of bounds. And Salmon's going to come out on that one. And number, oh, I'm sorry, Jody Kraft's going to come out. And looks like uh, Tim Wyatt will replace him. Right at 16 minutes to go here in the second half. And here's a three-pointer. Back off the heel and over the top going to be a two there and it's no good and Robinson will come away with it they're going to get an outlaw pass outlet pass I'm sorry but I think that's going to be a foul on number three Tyler Decker as he really clubbed Marcus Daniels on the arms there as he was trying to steal that pass and Marcus now will play it inbounds here on the near side Into Solomon. Solomon gives it back to Daniels. Daniels is going to drive. And it's going to be blocked and taken away. Number 14 with a nice drive as he switched a dribble there and went into the paint. 47 38. Nine points. Ottawa whittling away at this lead. As we can look like an Ottawa player gets a finger in the eye. Number 14, as he went down, Anthony Percy still rubbing that eye. And it's going to be Ottawa ball out of bounds down here, and Percy's going to go sit down and rub that eye a little bit. Probably going to flush that out with some water. Hope he didn't scratch it or anything or no contact lens. Momentum definitely has shifted in this game a little bit as Ottawa and a nice inside move around and behind Robison and now it's going to be seven points as Ottawa now starts really playing to their strength as they go to the height advantage that they've got on the inside. Uh, Thirty-four or no? Wait a minute, no. That was 32 or 25. Ottawa comes back now with four substitutions. And now just trailing by seven points here. Nine seconds left on the shot clock for Missouri Valley. 14 18 to play here in the half. Last half. Turnaround jumper, no good, bounces off. All of a sudden, Missouri Valley just a little bit cold. And Ottawa shooting some pretty good shots. Inside, the big boy. 34, but no good. See, that's who I thought made that other one. Was uh, 
Stackhouse, but it wasn't, I guess. Inside pass, but Robinson wasn't looking. And now they've got a four on three. Here's a three try, and it's going to drop for number 22, Eric Grant. And now we're back to a four-point lead where Valley had led by as much, I believe, as 15 points there in the first half. Daniels, fake drive, shot, giving two. Marcus Daniels, 49, 43, six point lead. Nice drive and it's gonna fall for number 32, Brian Newton. Here's Daniels again and it's gonna be in and out. And we're down to a two possession game now here. And Ottawa's gonna drive and I think they're gonna say that Hopkins probably knocked that away from the back. And now three substitutions for Missouri Valley is Kraft, Al Raphael, and I think Wyatt has come in, Tim Wyatt. Drive, no good. Rebound, Raphael. Well, Ralphie, I'm sorry. I'm going to give it to Jody, and Jody's going to go to the basket, but it's high. <laughs> and they're going to call traveling on 22. As Jody stuck a hand in there, and uh, the Ottawa player more or less tried to make a move with the ball and didn't have it. So Valley plays it in on their own baseline now. Here's Jody now with a two try in and out. <clears throat> and here they come down court. And one of their patent plays there where they try to make that move. I mean, these guys go to the hole with it, but Jody stood his ground there and cut him off and made him throw up kind of a, oh, that, mm, my. I guess that was a block shot there on Robison as he was doing the same thing. Al Raphael with some defense, but no good. As number four, Mitch Bounder. And now it's a two point game. Bounder. Bonden. Yeah. Tim Wyatt going to go to the basket and he kicks a pass out for Al Rafe. And well, he will get fouled. Well. I guess they're going to call that a, a shot as he's going to go to the line. I couldn't tell whether it was a pass or a shot. It must have been a shot. No, they're going to take it out of bounds. It was a pass. <laughs> but the auto player did hit him on the arm. <coughs> and Ottawa player gets in front of it. And here they come with a break. But he's going to pull up for a three off the front. No good. And coach from Missouri Valley is going to call a timeout as now with 11.20 to play, it is 49-47. Missouri Valley still with the lead. We'll be right back after this timeout. Okay, play is going to resume. 11.20 to go. Valley with a 49-47 lead. Just two points here as we are in the second half. Jody drives in toward the bucket but kicks it out. And a nice drive and a shot by Solomon. And Ottawa right back with it. And that's going to be a foul on Solomon, I believe, as he was just trying to get in front of the Ottawa player. But it was not in the act of shooting. That's just a second team foul from Missouri Valley. Valley goes inside again, and they're going to call double dribble on number 15. Riley Falk, Falk, F-A-L-K, Falk. Four point lead now for Valley. Can they get some uh, shooting going here? And it's gonna be Salmon on the drive and I think that's gonna be a foul on 15, no 25, I'm sorry. 
Anthony Grushmeyer Midritter, something. Solomon at the line. He's been perfect so far with the free throws. And that one there is going to drop. That's 18 points for Solomon so far here in the game. I think he had just right at 15 or 16, and he makes the second one. Solomon perfect at the line. And he comes right back and then will draw a foul. I believe that'll be his second foul as he reached behind, try and slap the ball away, and he hits the player on the arm. Three team fouls now on Missouri Valley. Second foul on Salmon. And looks like the coach from Ottawa is going to call a timeout, talk things over. Didn't like the way things looked or don't look like on that offensive possession. So now with 10.36 to go here in the second period, Missouri Valley leads by six points, 53 to 47 over the Ottawa Braves. We'll be right back. Okay, 10.36 to go, six point lead for Valley here over the Braves. Solomon keeping the pressure on. Now Jody doing his part to get it inside, to go inside to the one of the big post men. He puts it up, no good. And the rebound, Al Rafe. And it's going to go ahead to Daniels. And he's going to get fouled, but I think it was before the shot. But that'll be the fifth team foul on Ottawa. And Ottawa comes back with five fresh players. Valley plays it in on their own baseline. Turn around, Jody. Jody had a shot right under the basket, but didn't turn around. Plenty of time on the shot cock. Here's Jody with the three, and it's off to the side on the rim. No good. Not even close. I'm going to go inside to the big guy. Kick it out for a three. Off the rim. Solomon's going to come away with it. Oh, nice spin move. Throws it up with the left hand, but not good. Now Ottawa back, and one of their big guys, he'll come down and put it back up in there. Number 32, Brian Newton. Comes Daniels with the drive. Left hand, no good. Four-point lead, Ottawa with the ball, 9.15 to play. In case you hadn't noticed, it looks like Valley now in a man-to-man. -man. Inside to the big guy with an easy basket. That's number four, Mitch Bodden. Bomden. And we are back to a two-point game here now with 8.47 to play. Valley still with the lead over the Braves as they work it around here on the outside. Going to go inside to Al Rafael, and it gets knocked out of his hands. <laughs> Wyatt just about with a steal. Inside, the big boy. And that'll be a foul on Daniels as they had gotten it inside to number 34. I think that's Stackhouse. But it was before the shot, so it's going to be fourth team foul. <clears throat> 8.22 to go, 8.20. And a shot out front, and it's off the rim, no good. Rebound, Wyatt. And Missouri Valley comes down with it. They've got to get the shot in the basket. 7.55 to go here in the second half. 
Going to kick it out. Here's Wyatt with a three. No good. Off the top of the backboard. Tipped around and Ottawa comes away with it. Ottawa definitely with a rebounding advantage there, it looks like, on the defense. The shot no good. That's going to be Solomon with a rebound on that one. And Solomon just going to pull up, put up a three. You don't know what that was. But we'll uh, see. That's probably going to be two there as the big guy gets inside. And we're tied up here with 7.05 to go here in the second half. And the coach is going to call a timeout for Valley and talk things over. And I can't say as I blame him. As we got to get something constructive going here and come out of this timeout with at least two points. And as you can see, 7.02 to go here in the second half. And it is 53-53 here at Missouri Valley College. Okay, seven minutes to play. 53-53 here between the Missouri Valley Vikings and the Ottawa University Braves. Salmon kicks it out to Daniels, and he will drop a three, and that's exactly what you need from a timeout is come back with a good, strong play. Ottawa down court quick, trying to get that easy in the paint shot, but not this time as everybody from Missouri Valley is getting back, especially the big guys that we need inside. There's a steal by Daniels, but he loses it. Ottawa retains the possession. Now they're going to come back down inside, spin move, and number 34, Stackhouse, with a nice shot in the paint. He will make it. 56-55. 6.14 to go. <laughs> Kick it out to McDaniels again. Off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound, Ottawa. We got a guy open again right under the basket. I can't tell you how many of those they've had for the first time here. Ottawa now has the lead with 5.45 to play, 57-56. Here's a three shot, and that is going to be good by Matt McCarthy. Pull up shot, no good. Big guy with it underneath, and it won't fall anyway, but that's probably going to be a foul on Robison. As he slapped him on the arm as he was shooting, and number 15, Riley Falk, is going to be going to the line, shooting two. Ottawa with a 57, or 50, I'm sorry, they're behind, trailed by two. 59, 57 Vikings with the lead. Riley makes the first one. <clears throat> one point lead now for the Vikings with 5.16 to go. Riley with a second shot. And he goes in, and we are tied up again. Five. Just a little over five minutes to go, and it's 5.59 to 59. Nice drive by Solomon. Two points for Solomon on a drive into the paint. As he went between the trees there and laid it up on the backboard for two. And then a steal by Solomon, and it will control it. <clears throat> Back down with the ball. Spin, shot, throw up, no good. And it will be out of bounds off of an Ottawa player as it's off the head of number 14, Anthony Percy. Valley ball on their own baseline, 4.41 to go now. Here comes Daniels into the line, and the ball is going to be knocked out of his hands on the drive, out of bounds off of an Ottawa player. Daniels will play it in on the baseline. Into Wyatt. 
McCarthy sets the screen. Wyatt's going to go into the paint. I think they're going to call him for traveling as he tries to kick it out to Salmon. Sixty-one fifty-nine, four twenty-eight to go. Ottawa in no hurry. Going to work this thing around. I think the Vikings back into a uh, zone defense. Solomon with a rebound. He's going to throw it out to Daniels. The Vikings come down, get set up in their offense. Daniels is going to drive around, kicks it out to Salmon. Salmon now into the lane and no foul, but once again, it's going to be off of an Ottawa player. I'm pretty sure he didn't trip on his own. I'm not sure how he got on the floor, but he did. McCarthy off the front of the rim. And it's going to be off an Ottawa player, as I think uh, Wyatt had a hand in there somehow, but the Ottawa player touched it last. Valley with some lucky calls here on the officiating. They retained possession of the ball. Salmon wanting to, kicks it out to McCarthy, and that will be a Three for Matt McCarthy. 320 to play now. Valley with a five-point lead. Now we really need some defensive play. Big guy tries to go inside. They kick it out. 14. In out. No good, but a rebound to number 32. Nice play by Brian Newman. <clears throat> Three points, three minutes to go. Valley leads. Daniels, there's McCarthy again. And he will make it, but it's only two this time, I believe. Two for McCarthy. Or Wyatt, I'm sorry. Yeah. I think it was Wyatt. Solomon in on the play, and he does momentarily knock it away, but it looks like Ottawa's going to control it. Shot, going to hit the side of the backboard. Daniels with the rebound, and he kicks it ahead to Solomon, and Solomon is going to lay it in. And we've got seven-point lead now for Valley with 2.05 to play left in the game. And the coach from Ottawa is going to call a timeout. And what I can say, 157 now to play. Missouri Valley Vikings 68 and Ottawa Braves 61. We'll be right back after this timeout. Okay, 157 to go. Valley with a seven-point lead here over the Ottawa Braves. Let's see whether or not Ottawa can do the same thing, whether they can come out of the timeout with a shot. That's one of the things you like to do. The big boy going to drive into the middle, shoots, misses, and that's going to be Tim Wyatt with the rebound. And now they're going to come back and commit a foul, which I'm not sure was a good, wise thing to do, as number four, Mitch Brodden, Brodden does the foul. That pick makes them with 16 fouls, too, so one more foul now, and Valley will be shooting at the line. <clears throat> and now they're trying to trap Salmon over there. Wyatt gets it out here to Daniels. <clears throat> Trying to get up some matches that they want here, it looks like. Inside Robinson, and that's going to be a foul on number four. Mitch Bodden. 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 That's going to be the seventh team foul, so Robinson should be going to the line here, shooting one and one. Robinson on the first one. They really need this. 115 to play here. And they're going to give him two. Must have been in the act of shooting. Mm. 
Damari now with another shot. Hopefully he can drop this one, increase this lead, and he does. And second one goes in. That's going to make it 69-61. And now we are down to 110 to play here in the game. Daniels kind of let him get away from him. Going to go into the big guy. McCarthy gets a hand in it. Number three try from way out. And that's going to be a rebound by Wyatt. They get it back to Daniels. And then a quick foul on number 32. Yes. Brian Newton. Foul on Newton. Foul. And that's going to send Daniels to the free throw line. And he surely will be shooting one and one. 18 fouls on Ottawa. He's good at these free throws. And Daniels is going to drop that. How many points has Daniels got there, scorekeeper? 15? No. 17. No. <laughs> and the second one's good for Daniels, too. That makes it 71-61, 10-point lead. For Valley now. And we are down to... 40 seconds and a shot on the baseline. No good. Robison is going to be getting the rebound on that, and he will be fouled. And now, Shamari Streeter Robison to the line here, shooting one and one. That'd be the 19th foul with 36 seconds to go here. And we're going to hold the ball here for something. I don't know what's wrong. One and one for Robison. First one up, and it's off. No good. But the rebound is going to go to 22, Marcus Daniels. And I think Solomon's going to go to the line now, as he's perfect so far at the line. We'll see whether or not he can keep that going. As Valley here with a 10 point lead and 29 seconds to play. And it's good. How many points for Solomon? And make it 25. I think Solomon perfect at the line and 25 points here in the game as we are down to 25 seconds now. And Valley with a 12-point lead, 73-61. There's a long three, no good, off the heel. And I believe that's McCarthy with the rebound. And I don't know if they're just going to finish this game out. Eight, seven, five, and that's going to be a foul on number 32, Brian Newman, and that's going to send Salmon to the line again. We'll see whether or not he can make it 27 points. Three fouls. Okay. Valley doesn't even put anybody up on the line as Salmon will be shooting two now. First one's in and good. And that's going to be 27 points for Salmon. And it's in. And that'll make it 75 61 with three points to go. Or, I mean, three seconds to go. There's a shot at the buzzer. And it's no good, and the Missouri Valley Vikings are going to win here tonight in Marshall, Missouri, as they beat the Ottawa University Braves 75-61. Right, give you a quick scoring recap here if we can. We'll be back with that in just a second. Here's your scoring recap for the game tonight. Jody Kraft with six point, Eldon Salmon with, I believe, 28, if I remember correctly, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 27 points, I believe. And Chris Robison, no, and Matt McCarthy, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, I think. Marcus Daniels with 6, 9, 14, 19, 21 for Daniels. Tim Wyatt with three, four, five, six, seven. Omar Al Rafe with two. Shamari Robinson with two points, it looks like. So 
That's going to do it for Missouri Valley. And hopefully we're going to be back here with Eldon Salmon with a little interview and talk to him about how he thought the game went tonight. Yes, man. Okay, we've got one of the stars of the game here with us tonight, Eldon Salmon. Salmon from St. Louis. Man, where'd you play your ball down there in St. Louis? Um, Belleville, out of Catholic High School on the um, east side of St. Louis and the Illinois side. Oh, and you played in East East yes. Illinois. Yes, East Illinois. Oh, okay, they didn't put that on there. It says St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah. But anyway, great game tonight, Eldon. Uh, man, all I can say is you guys come out really shooting hot tonight. Uh, I'm thinking there was at least six three pointers you guys made right off the bat. Yeah, in the first half we just was shooting many, many threes, getting hot. Everybody was hitting from all cylinders, so yeah. it was pretty tough to cool us down in that half. <laughs> But after the second half, man, things kind of changed a little bit. It looked like you had a little bit of trouble getting the ball in the basket, and Ottawa come running, running back on you. A lot of good inside play by uh, Ottawa, so it looked like really giving your uh, big guys a tough uh, game on the inside. Yeah, we started to simmer down, and then they started beating us down, down low. We missing a few plays, but we toughed it out. Our guards got down on the block and helped rebound, so we came together as a team to get the win tonight. But, man, what a night for you, I think. Uh, our scorekeeper's right, Grandma, though. We had uh, 26 points for you tonight. Uh, I don't know how many threes, I think three or four. But uh, not only that, but some great play on the floor, too, and a lot of good defense. Yeah, I just wanted to get out there and hustle hard. You know, the team needed to come together. We needed somebody to push the team forward to get the win, so I felt like I needed to do that tonight. You definitely did that. You gave him a spark. Boy, you and Robinson were right in there, and then some good defensive play over there with Jody Kraft. And uh, I know you guys also had a couple of uh, five-second calls, if I remember right, with some good, tough defense. Yeah, with the pressure on them, they really didn't know what to do. They started panicking, and it just played our way. Yeah. Well, all you folks back in St. Louis, you're going to have to check this out. Get on here and watch on Grandpa's Sports videos. Eldon Solomon here tonight with a great game as Missouri Valley is going to whip the Ottawa Braves. I believe it was 76 to 61, if I remember right, 15 or 16 points. But anyway, Eldon, thanks for talking to us and great game. Great game, and I think we'll just make you star of the player or star of the game while we're at it. How about that? Thank you. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs>